horses, but I was using them. <laughs> That's fine. So where, uh, where are they being dumped? Yeah, like oh. horses. Well, they're being dumped on the. Oh, being dumped on the horses. Ah, I see. Uh, no. So this group shot a fire. Th that wizard here shot a fireball down here. Okay. And then where is the other group? The other group. The accidents that happen to the particular people depend on the actions they took. <laughs> oh, is that how they... It's, you're not a good party. You're the vindictive party, as, as I think either Fox or Wither said earlier. Uh, all right. So a seven-die fireball. 21 damage. Horses could live through this. Yep. Well, they, they'll live for sure. Unless they're World 1, I guess. They can take a friend of her. Draft horses with their plus seven reflex saves. Uh, stand. Oh, got ads blipping in our ears. Made it failed. Made it failed. <coughs> Made it failed. Okay, the horses are screaming. They're 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 scorched by the by the ball of flame. Uh, Vigo's second level punks are making their attempts to live. Twenty one damage. This guy's unconscious. Uh, Ten damage. This guy is not. Oops. One is bad for him. Three? No, he stays in the seated position. <laughs> he doesn't, like, fall off. Uh, now, Horus. The bird isn't technically an animal companion yet, so it makes it save and takes ten damage, but it's a tough little bird. Uh, Goros on the ground, you bastards. <laughs> I just got dumped on the ground. He manages to roll out of the way, but he still gets scorched a little bit for... 10 damage. Uh, Mort, you're you're caught in this a little bit. Yep. Uh, DC 14 reflex save. 18. Okay, so you take half of 21, which is 10. Which is... Yeah, he doesn't take... Uh, he wasn't in there to get the resistance. Yep. And then... A little window is open, so the duck has to make a save. It's got cover. Uh, An improved evasion. An improved evasion, so it needs to roll really poorly. The duck's um, reflex save with cover is plus nine. It it completely evades, and I think that's it. Everyone else over here is dead. Oh, Vigo has evasion and just ducks in the ducks in the seat as the fireball rips past. All right, uh, this wizard, it's 400 feet plus 40 feet per level, right? So. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a, yeah. Big long boomer spell. And he's 200 feet up, and that'll be about 500 feet, which is within range of the one. Okay. Yeah, it's, this is their MO. <laughs> this fireball rips off kind of at the front edge of the roof of the um, uh, of the wagon so it explodes nicely that way um, 15 feet up one two it doesn't reach the ground where Goros is like like he the fireball kind of licks it where he's lying down on the ground but grackle Mort Horus the riders and these horses all take damage. 24 damage from this guy's wand. It's a grackle. DC 14 reflex. Okay. Uh, make it. Okay, you evade. Uh, Mort. Makes it. Okay, so you take 12. Grr. 
Horus the bird makes it, so he takes another 10. Uh, the hired thug is unconscious, so he is burned to death. Well, Chappie had a good life. <laughs> his friend Chappy. <laughs> fails his save, 24 damage, drops him to minus 14. He is burned to death. They died doing what they loved. <laughs> ah fuck Vigo rolls a 2 on his save he takes 24 damage from this fireball that Ooh. basically blasted above his seat and ah, there was no kind of tumbling back from that one um, it's kind of blasting down uh, and then the horses made it made it made it made it so they all take 12 damage The two that previously made their saves are fine. The other ones are not. With one wheel in the ditch and two horses on the bottom side basically collapsing, the whole wagon is kind of being dragged into the forest, kind of on its side towards the trees. Uh, Vigo is going to try to um, reactively not have the whole thing careen into trees. He doesn't have any aid because his uh, his underlings have all bit the dust. He rolls nat 20 and he somehow skids the whole thing to a stop. Um, like right about here. here. This is the hero's wagon? This was the wagon of the comedy relief. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like he he hit a bunch of trees, but you're bouncing off trees, and and the whole thing kind of plows uh, 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 plows together. He ends up knocking out this horse, um, and there's one horse that's still up and whining like crazy as the wagon is kind of like lurched onto the back ends of those horses, pinning them. Grackle and Mort, you still were like kind of like taking one knee or sitting down mm -hmm. on the roof. So when you when you actually hit the two of you just skidded a little bit further up on the wagon roof. You may have some splinters later, but okay. Uh, and everyone's jostled inside the coach. Okay. All right, battle Hello. wizards. Now it's crackle. <laughs> that was six okay. six six seconds of combat. Yep. <laughs> the elves showed up with the big birds and screwed up your caravan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm taking to the air. Uh, he's he's already had the um, what's it called <sighs> the broom. Now these guys are traveling way too fast for me to catch up. Though they're a hundred feet up. Yep. And it's double to get up. It's double movement to get up, right? Yep. Fuck! I can't even reach him. Uh, what if I run? Yeah, you can catch up to them that way. And just... Okay, so uh, running would take me right up to them, right? It's times four speed. Times four speed. I want to be ri not right in front of the bird to, you know, get smacked, but right in front of these guys to get a swipe at them as they come by. <laughs> no, running means you lose your... Your dex bonus, oh, which I, means you're not threatening. Unless you have the run feet, you're flat-footed. Fuck okay. If you have combat reflexes, you can still make AOLs. You just... Your AC is balls. He's gonna be shit. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's... What's your speed right now? Uh, 40. So run can get you 160. So yeah, you can move... You can triple move up to them without running. No, times two for rising. You're right. Yeah, be... I won't be able to make it. Um, but I would lose my dex to AC. Correct. Uh, dex is a six. If I do it defensively, it'd give me a 31 AC. Yeah, okay, let's get right... Let's do that. Let's get right up to where the, where the bird is. Defensively, 
right above, right above. So you're the, right uh, above the bird, uh, like head height with these guys. Okay, the bird's gonna take its AOO. Up, yep, expect that. It's Run. gonna, it's gonna bite you. you. You can't do it defensively. Well, you can be defensive. It's just, it's a dodge bonus, so you lose it. Yeah. You don't get into oh, bonus. I lose my dodge bonus. All your dodge yeah. bonuses, all your dex bonuses. If, if you lose your dex bonus, you lose your dodge bonus. Okay. Oh, boy. Ah! Okay. AC 22. <laughs> Miss. Gonna walk us through your AC. Uh... Yeah. 10 base, plus 6 armor. Yep, 16. Ring 3, uh, natural plus armor 2. And 21. Buck 3. That's, I 24. didn't even... Then nimble. I don't know if nimble's that... a dodge bonus. Nimble, nimble's a dodge bonus. So twenty four. So it missed by two. It's it tried to bite you. You fit inside of its entire mouth, that, <laughs> and you you that... dogged out to the side. You jigged over, and you're right above. You're right next to the archers and the wizard. That being said, Ahmed, make sure you got nimble added to your CMD. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Junker, you see Grackle trying to almost fly into a rock's mouth. You guys are in some soft berry bushes. <laughs> in the zoomy you hear bold fucking strategy. Don't ever let anybody tell you ain't bold. Uh... <laughs> all right, you got some panicked horses that are all tangled in in trees. You got yep. some screaming horses that are really badly injured. Yep. A couple of dead horses that have splattered ghost and horse blood. Uh, yep. You've got Goros going, and he's trying to get up on the other side of the wagon that's upended and upside down. And you guys are kind of like gently, sort of like lying back in bushes, but still technically standing. <laughs> uh, he's going to... Your little rat tails provided the tripod of support <laughs> required to kind of still be on your on your feet. He's going to cast Cat's Grace on Ghost, and he's going to. Step into Ghost's Square because they get better AC that way. Okay. Uh, he's just kind of like making space away from the horses that are kicking. <laughs> okay, Ghost. Uh, well, here's the thing. Before that wagon moved a second time, people were in range for the haste that's about to go up. <laughs> but now they're not. Um, so he's going to haste, um, himself, and he's going to haste, uh, Junker, and he's going to haste the Rat, and he's going to haste Goros, and he's going to haste Chuckles 1 and 2, um, so they can, if, <laughs> <laughs> they can go run away, or I don't know what they're going to do, but they'll do it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, haste goes off. It's eighth level. Yeah, so it's round ten. Uh, all right, and the uh, sorry, uh, and then he's going to start shooting the ever living tits off the rock, and he's shooting it with abyssal steel arrows. Okay. <laughs> Fucking right. <laughs> there's there's a level of annoyance that has to be reached when it's like I'm gonna send you the fuck you arrow. <laughs> this is, this is, this okay. Is what we're doing now. The uh, flying rock has an AC of twenty six. Okay. Um, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So um, fire tongue is up. AC twenty nine. AC 19, uh, and AC 26. Two hits. Uh, all right, so that is... Uh, Takes all the elements. Plus 10, and 46 plus 10. So how does 55 damage feel? Uh, bad? That must have been the rock. How good is the rock's fly check? Can it make, auto make the don't lose height? No. Oh. No, uh, rocks are gargantuan flyers, so their fly okay. skill is plus seven. Um, and oh, just, let me just check their hit points. Uh, it is not bloodied because of that attack, but it needs to make two 
DC, I think it's 20? Uh, I think it's DC 15. 15? It might be DC 10. I'll check. It's, All right, it's a, it's it, is dis- it has descended involuntarily 20 feet because of this attack. Fuck! <laughs> uh, so it's it's a DC it's DC 10 fly check, uh, and the descent does not provoke attack of opportunity and does not count against movement. Okay, DC 10, then it descended 10 feet. 're now out of your reach crackle unless you have yeah there there's 10 feet between you and them thanks buddy <laughs> but hey you're doing your job you're doing your job how about you attack the other assholes <laughs> more now with the 15 feet of the coach and they're 80 they're 80 feet down uh, they're only um, 65 feet so 130 feet of movement away from mort yeah okay uh mort is gonna slap chaga's hand for the spell okay uh and then he's gonna start making his way up so he flies up uh well he's got armor on feet it might be faster for him to just run you got airwalk you could uh, does it take an action to slap the spell uh no. No? Okay, well. I'll take the spell. <laughs> I'll take the spell. Yep. So I fly up uh, 40 feet then. Okay. Or you could run right underneath the, the rock if you wanted. Uh, how do you figure he's 80 feet up? And you move at forty? No, not not when I'm this big. When I'm this big, I move at twenty. Oh, you, you oh you turn big? I'm not, I'm not big, but I'm I'm small. It's two actions to turn big. I'm just trying to get up there before they decide to pepper me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you have your all of your actions left. Yes. What are you doing? So I fly up. Okay. Um, my, my my speed would be 40 because I'm in heavy armor. Yep. So going up, it's another, it cuts that in half. To 20, yep. To 20, so move up 60. You could move up 60 keeping your dex bonus, or you could fly run for... Yeah, a... uh, I won't. Armor my, it's heavy armor. So the, his flying run is at times three. Okay, yeah. so yeah, you, you fly 60 feet up, basically. Yeah. Yeah, you're twenty feet underneath the uh, uh, the rock. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put the f- the the altitude yeah. Yeah, on altitude. the creatures. Okay, uh, the Alsirian druids. <clears throat> Yeah. Barrel roll. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Fox, do a barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, one of them peeks over the wings and looks down at junk. Uh, looks down at ghost. The which ones? Uh, one of the druids. Uh, actually, there's a little burst around Ghost, Junker, and the Rat, and you guys are all glowing purple. Isn't that sweet? As Weird you just got, color. you got, you got, you got feather, uh, you got fairy fired. <laughs> Marking you so you can't escape or take benefit of blur displacement and visibility. Or potentially going, hey guys, way over there, way from downtown, get those ones. Yep. <laughs> okay, and the other druid casts a spell on the rock, which is not moving very fast, so no problem. Um, its wings glow. The rocks. 
This one actually flies in. A single move is 90. A double move would be 180. It seems like its speed is a little bit faster, just a touch faster. It descends a little bit. It's about 60 feet off the ground. It's, it's wingtips just above the, the tops of the trees. Almost, almost in range for the web, if that was what you're going to do. Although, taking a step and chop the socking. <laughs> Although, that, the, that rock needs to move. Yeah, this rock's going to attack Grackle once and then move. So what's the reach of it? Because it's 10 feet away. Is it they 10 feet away? 10 feet further than it was before, so it needs at least a 15 foot reach to bite Grackle. Yeah. Uh, its space is 20, 15 foot reach. Okay, well, Grackle Butthole. Uh, sorry, Grax. <laughs> sorry to Grack Butthole. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bite oh, shit. Grackle. Shit happens. It rolls a nat 1. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All over, fall out of the sky. So, uh, can I block that? So that it doesn't hit? Uh, well... You, you, you can make AOOs because you have combat reflexes, so you can attempt to block this, yes. Uh, but... So... He, he, he's supposed to call it before the attack. Yeah, okay. I didn't. So. Okay. AC24, does that hit your flat-footed no bonus? Uh, 24. Um, I'm just going to check. What, what he can do, though, is he can use his dodging panache. Yes. Ooh. It's a dodge bonus. Is it a dodge bonus? Oh, yeah, it is a dodge bonus. It says dodging, asshole. <laughs> Well, that's oh, yeah. uh, it, it doesn't. That's always. It adds your charisma, but I don't know fuck, if it's a dodge bonus or not. That's a... <laughs> it's more polite to the person who's telling you how to use. That's your I don't know, I'm just fucking. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> doing so grants the watchbook a dodge bonus to AC yeah. equal to charisma. Yeah, you're never mind. It, okay. No, it, it, uh, it doesn't critical miss. The the rock bites you for twenty one. No, no, you roll, you roll the one. Oh, never mind. Sorry, would it hit you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then flies. <laughs> Crackle looks at ghost like, <sighs> and then begins Mort, to Mort have combat reflexes, right? Take it. Oh, Mort, Mort gets a beat it. Oh no, Mort. I, I'm not close enough. It's making a circle, basically. At any oh yeah, can't okay, right. <sighs> the caravan plus uh, Goros. Goros is going to. Stand up. <laughs> Come down here, you cowards! <laughs> he draws his <laughs> shitty axe. Because <laughs> uh, that's what elves do. They, they fight barbarians toe-to-toe. -to -toe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you know what? I've got a healing spell for a reason. <laughs> a single one prepared, because... Because owls happen. Yep, for 15. He shakes things off a little bit. Yell, he's yelling at, the, uh, yelling at the elves. Elsirian archers. Two of them are um, blinded. They're not firing blinded, but at the end of their turn, they do get another save. GC was 20, Mark? Yeah. One of them failed, and the other one... Plus four. Still... Okay, so one of them at the end of the round w wipes the... Manages to effectively wipe the glitter from its eyes. These archers... Who is being prickly? Well, they're these nice outlined creatures that we saw firing arrows up at the birds. I think we're we're targeting the the whitey pink kind of rat. We're gonna get the archer. Get him. <laughs> uh, pinko the rat. All <laughs> uh, right. So. Okay, I'm going to roll to confirm the critical miss. It's critical miss. Let me just check my... Are you kidding me? A strength check or drop your bow yeah, flung 1d4? Your bow, <laughs> come, 
get to our level. All right, so that one on his second attack lost his bow because, like, the bird had moved its wings and caught the feathers, caught the bow, and just ripped the bow of his hands, and it gets flung off the. Uh, um, so we're just gonna give him a sad, a sad condition to remind me that second time this month I'm so far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, and the other one is apparently a master at this as two electrical arrows go zapping in towards uh, Ghost. 2d8 plus 10 plus 2d... Oh, you block one? Okay. Uh, what was the other ones to hit? Oh, yeah. 34, 32? Okay, you block one, but the other... the other Oh, that should be five less. Uh, 17 damage. Okay. And then that one actually gets to make his iterative attacks because he didn't fling his bow away and quitting quitting this game um that critical <laughs> miss the that bonus one. is 15 becomes 10 a 29 misses by one so it's critical miss uh ranged yeah uh, it, it might miss by two um i'm trying to find his bloody armor max armor bonus that's fine. It's not a thrown attack. It doesn't have any additional thing. That's that's a funny one though. If you made a thrown attack, you throw a random object from your gear. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> uh, okay, so elves. All right, one bowless, one blind. Did a little bit of damage, I guess. Barnabas. Uh, he's going to. What do we got left down here. He's gonna put up a shield spell. Okay. The AC was thirty-one. Actually, correction. Uh, it's not gonna be a shield spell. It's gonna be an invisibility spell, and he's gonna slip out of the carriage. door opens <laughs> <laughs> some ferns kind of moving as he's going through the forest uh, back in a tick <laughs> <laughs> hey where are you going <laughs> Chaka is going to oh, ca cast away from fireball <laughs> Chaka scoops up Duckin, scoops up Los's urn and is moving out of the wagon where are you going <laughs> Um, he actually moves at 30 because of his mithril, uh, full plate. Are you going to stop him, or? Uh, yeah, over here. Uh, uh. <laughs> Just taps him as he's going by. <laughs> uh, the Wynn family. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? They're all over the place. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we, if we attack them, we'll become fugitives. fugitives. I think we're already fugitives. But we didn't do anything wrong. It's a good probability that probably doppelgangers anyway. We must unite our people, not fight them. Uh, they're having a moment trying to figure out whether or not they're going to actually attack elves meanwhile the murder hobos are like i hope they got good gear <laughs> the elsirian battle mages Ugh. oh we're back to them again <laughs> maybe a couple more fireballs will convince them uh while they're sitting there all protected from fire it's warm in here yeah <laughs> all right well we see these two guys that are brave enough to go flying towards the um uh towards the the rock i think we're going to actually cast a fireball out of our repertoire i think i'm sick no we can just get us both 
this fireball is a little bit more aggressive. Uh, this creature did move twice in the round. There is a concentration check. He is able to do it. Uh, 20 damage. The DC of this fireball, however, is 19. This is against Grackle and Mort. Um, Mort rolled a 20. Do I have my dex or not? Because I you ran. Get, yep. You still get your re reflex. Yep. Okay. Uh, nope. I'm good. I have 20 on that puppy. Okay, so 10 damage if you don't have uh, evasion and you made the save. I made the save. I got it. It's marked down. All right, this Elsirian battle wizard. You guys are too far for lightning bolt. It's going to magic missile. One is Mort. Two. Oh, sorry. Yeah. One is Mort. Two is Grackle. Grackle. Get hit for 12 magic missile damage. Okay, comes off my brooch. You have a brooch of shielding? Yep. He, he sees that you're protected from that, and he won't do that again. <clears throat> All right. Grackle. Okay, how far are these assholes? They are 80 feet up and 100 feet away from you. So I'm a hundred feet up. Yep. So can I reach them in two rounds? Well, feet away. Fuck. You're you move at thirty, right? Forty. Forty. So you could triple move up to them and not lose your your dex bonus. Can I triple move up to the um the direction that they're traveling in? Yeah. You like can, you said, you said this thing was circling, right? Yeah. This you thing was you can. You can get 120 feet, so... Get there. You get there. All right, you fuckers. <laughs> uh, and if that bird's going to attack me, I'm going to spend a point to try to block it. Yeah, he, he, you do get within range. It's, gonna, it's going to bite you as you come in. Yeah. And you try to block it with your blade. It gets an AC 34. Chomp. Miss... You whack your sword off of its beak and it swipes 34. back. 34? Oh, shit. I have to beat its... Do I have to beat that its attack? Yep. Oh, shit. That's... Uh... Okay, that's great. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that's... that's uh, 32? So you Is it... Am I trying to hit it? I For think... the parry? Yeah. You're trying to beat what it rolled to hit you. Can I use the two the the points right now? Yeah, you rolled the one. Yeah, I rolled a one. The thirty-four, so that it. Uh... So it's not a critical miss. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't want to fucking curl myself. Fuck that shit. Sure. Yeah. Portion point spent. Yes, thank you. All right, you don't end up losing your blade in its mouth or something stupid, and and you recover, but you are still threatening them, and. They they are gonna. I want to basically position myself so that I'm in the way of these guys. Well, they're riding it, so they're technically in all this thing squares. So when it moves, I get an AOO on all of them. You get an AOO on. Kind of yes. Kind of. <laughs> it doesn't get knocked out of the sky by arrows because I'm still shooting that one. Are you little fucker? I'm going to drop further so I'm 20 feet below it. <laughs> Come on. Well, if you're 20 feet below, you're not threatening it. You have to be touching yeah. it. It's 20 feet high. Yep. I have to drop it. Look feet. at you really quickly. like. <laughs> so it's it's a 4 by 4 square. So you could actually be in the lowest square. So if it drops 20, you're still threatening it. it. Okay. All right, Junker. Uh, Junker is going to... Um, You're all glowy. All glowy. It's all stupid. You're stupid. He's pointing at them. He's calling them stupid. <laughs> um, he's poisoning. Um, he's gonna poison arrows 
and hold them out for Ghost. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> he has poison use, so he's like, here, here. <laughs> so, the first arrow is going to be a Mandragora poison arrow, and the second yes. one is going to be a spider venom. Okay. Even spider. Ghost, with his with Ghost poisoned arrows at the ready. Is going to be using poisoned arrows while using spell ranged spell strike to scorching ray the beast out of the sky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zap. Uh, so this gives me more. So this is a full round action. So this is all. This is all three actions to do two attacks because I don't have the third um, scorching ray bolt yet. Yep. But I don't take a penalty for. I don't take uh, my rapid shot penalty. So. Okay, and it's second range increment. Uh, first range increment. I've got distance on my bow. Awesome. Uh, AC twenty nine hits. AC twenty six hits. All right. Welcome to Poison Town, population Birdo. <laughs> uh, so the um, the Mandragora poison is a DC fifteen confusion effect. I don't know if it's con or wisdom. I don't like. I don't know if it's con or a will save, but it's some weird poison I had. Yeah, let's make it a will save. Here we go. No. Okay, it's not confused. Uh, then there's a fort save um, on the second one. No. No, that's fine. That's okay. That's just using your treasures to do stuff. All right. Uh, if no, we ever I'm rebuild sure. poison, we would do the second edition yeah, right, poison does like, damage. damage to your face. And then the really good poisons have damage plus an effect that, that you know, with a save. Yeah. First arrow does 41 damage. Woo! The second arrow does 40 damage. 135. Oh, I'm going to check this thing. Um, it has 160 hit points. You've done 135 with 21 non lethal. That's 100. And it has single digit hit points left. <laughs> I've got a haste attack. AC 32. Oh. <laughs> okay. 157 non-lethal the bird is unconscious as an immediate action the Elsirian battle mage is going to cast a feather fall on the on the rock. And the whole bird begins to descend. Uh, it descends 60 feet downwards. So, uh, the action of casting. Uh, uh, casting. No, it's immediate action. Uh, so it's a... Voluntary movement, though. Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think so because it's like falling and yeah, yeah. I think the whole thing just sort of falls. It twists and falls and um, is. Draco puts his blade inside and it just magically just goes through. <laughs> so it's only twenty feet off the ground, which means it's flying into trees right now, but it's bouncing off the trees and. Ghost gives Grackle a thumbs up in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mort. Mort's gonna fly up another twenty feet and take a long arms extract, and maybe move a, a little bit that way as he's flying up. Okay. The Alsirian Druids. Well, we're gonna try to heal our bird. Twelve lethal and twelve non lethal. Twelve is uh, 
last arrow did 22, so it's up Eight, for sure. 9 non-lethal, and then 45. It has 155 damage with both types. So yeah, it, it wakes up. Still needs to like it's trying to catch itself. It might have to land, but yeah, it's interesting because like if it if it catches itself, then that kills the the feather fall. <laughs> if it goes, please stop falling. Yep. <laughs> uh, the other druidus. They're causing problems, aren't they? This little archer over there is not a. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna call. Call down thunder on your head. A, a, uh, a flame strike goes off uh, over top, <laughs> over top ghost, uh, and the horse next to you basically gets burned with holy fire. I think they're bad. <laughs> Is there a horse? No, it's just the wagon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ghost junker and the rat. Twenty-eight damage from the flame strike. 26 reflex save. That evades. Uh, oh, oh, that's not a good reflex save. Uh, uh, so Junker rolled a one, and then Junker's rat uh, evades. So Junker's just like, boom! <laughs> okay, 28 damage. <laughs> we, Ouch! And then we need uh, to do that stupid thing for his items. Uh, number four uh, on the items list. Uh, so he doesn't care. It's shield. He has a shield. Armor. He has armor. Magic helm, hat, or headband. He has that item in hand, including weapon, wand, or the like. Um, so he's currently got like. Uh, Arrows and poisons in his hands. Okay. Um, I'll roll a d2. Uh, one is like the quiver of arrows. Two, it's some of the poisons. Uh, sounds, so sounds fair. Poisons. Uh, let's see. His, oh, he's got uh, one, two, three. Four, five poisons. I'll roll a d5 to see which one bites the dust. Four. It is the 11 doses of Pudwick poison, which had the highest d save. Okay, so one of those is gone. Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so that was the druid. Um, the rocks. So this rock is going to try to make a like effectively a, a hover check it doesn't it actually has to it descends all the way to the ground and it's landed it's just too heavy and spell pulls it like the spell allows it to softly land on the ground uh it then is going to kind of hop out of the bushes as another move gets out onto the road um and then is going to ready an attack as it noticed Grackle flying around, like it was biting at Grackle as you guys were going by, so it's going to ready an attack to bite a Grackle when it comes, or bite someone all when you, it comes close. All you got to do is harry it to go shoot it again. <laughs> Ghost is currently mad that he used a sleep arrow on it. <laughs> this rock gets moved towards Grackle. And... Uh, it had a spell on it, so it gets a better attack. So it's uh, I'll spend a panache point on this one. Okay. AC twenty three. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, I you can't reach him though, or can you? No, no, no. Can I reach you when it comes at me? Like as, as it comes by? No, it it's kind of biting you at its reach. Oh, it stops there. Yep. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so I All right, and then it does get its second attack, so I guess a second bite at plus 15. AC 19 misses. Snapping its snapping its beak. Little Welcome too, to my world. <laughs> little little too early. Uh, I'm hitting shit all. <laughs> Caravan and Goros. Fuck him! Uh, he's gonna cast Divine Favor and move forward. I want him and the Druid Bard, and we're gonna just go off and have our own horrible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's moving forward. Uh, the Elsirian Archers. Well, this guy threw his bow away. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's taking the Druid's bow. <laughs> And uh, are we getting our birds backwards? I thought it was this bird had the Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, this this guy was this guy was uh uh yeah, this guy takes the druid's bow. Well those battle wizards, I just zoomed in. That lady's intense. What the hell? That, that's a yell that they got. They're, they're certainly they're phosphoro dying all over the place. <laughs> um and then uh they're gonna fire a grackle. Look like soccer fans that are angry at a call. <laughs> Okay, uh, sorry, I'm, uh, right, uh, Ghost and Junker are pretty close to the initiative. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave in, like, three minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Grackle, AC 35, AC 26, AC 22, AC 19. No. 35 does not hit you? No, my AC is 37. Okay. <laughs> I'm already hit! <laughs> Crane style. <laughs> Crane style deck Oh, uh, two nat 20s hit you. Uh, that does it. Uh, now, can I block those? Do you have deflect arrows? It's not deflect arrows. It's uh. It's they roll the twenty. Your yeah. AP becomes. You, you... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know, I know. I'm, I'm wondering what it says about this. When a range attack is made against you and a target adjacent to you, you can cut the weapon. Uh, they are deflecting the attack, so the target takes no damage. As an attack roll opportunity, make a melee attack, your mightiest, highest bonus. If the result is greater than the attack roll. Yeah. So that's an answer. No. You take 15 and 14 damage from the elven arrows. Which assholes did this? Uh, these guys. Alright. 15 and 14 is 39. Does the rock blood look like it's changing color? No. <laughs> no, there's no doppelganger. That's a big-ass, dumb-ass doppelganger turning into gargantuan birds. Uh, uh, this elven archer gets his full round action to save, like, uh, he's still blind. Uh, and then his buddy is firing arrows at Grackle. Miss and miss. And then iterative attacks, looking for 20s, also misses. That guy's firing at you as well. Barnabas. Barnabas. Uh, is now he's going to cast shield on himself. No, I know mirror image. He'll cast mirror image. Yeah, yes. Some some fucking that uh, bard song will be great. <laughs> bard song going. Oh, is it? Oh, look at that. There is a chance that these are doppelgangers, Barnabas. Yeah, don't tell them that. They might not fight. <laughs> it doesn't look like they want to fight. Uh oh. Uh, Side, you the zoomy going. You think the doppelgangers? Who the fuck cares? They came the doppelganger calls. Fucker. <laughs> so Barnabas has six images, and he's gonna. Uh, it does not fly, so he can move sixty. Oh no, he can only move thirty. What am I doing? And he's got six inches. All right, next. Okay, Chaga cast flying himself, and he's gonna start. Deacon through the forest a little bit towards the birds. Oh, I suppose I'll have to clean up this mess. Oh, those are big birds. <laughs> big birds. Brain fry the birds. Yeah, <laughs> he's getting closer so he can brain fry things. Um. Ah, he's gonna take out his tower shield. Fuck that. He's. 
Yeah. <laughs> he was, what, about here? He takes out his tower shield and flies 60. All right. No, he can't. He casts spell two actions, takes out his shield. He's done. The Wynn family, they coax Horus inside where it's safe. Uh, and Spark actually leaves. There will be no killing of these elves! Fuck yourself. <laughs> What's that? What language was it in? Your native tongues. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, with blood rushing through my ears, I didn't hear you. <laughs> there will be no killing of these elves! <laughs> Are you a face my wrath? <laughs> Took you long enough to get out. You tell them to stop attacking, or they die. The El Syrian battle wizards are not paying attention to the little tiny fairy moat. There are fugitives who attacked the temple of the Seldarin and stole things from our high priestess. Well, that's. It's the clarion call of the doppelganger, which is the suspicious part. <laughs> they came because they heard doppelganger go, Abby, Abby, doppelganger. <laughs> That's what they responded to. <laughs> these, these guards were sitting in their guard post. They received orders. Yep, from a doppelganger, which makes them <laughs> doppelganger. <laughs> Uh, Which takes them part of the doppelgang. The doppelgang. There we go. That's the way it's so I'm looking for a punny something in there somewhere. All right. Well, I think Grackle's getting lightning bolted up the butt and lightning bolted uh, from the side. There are two lightning bolts. All right. I need to go drop the wife off at work. Okay. Um, All right. If it gets around to it, uh, Junker's going to take down the fallen bird with a true struck. Um, Arrow from his like his short bow, and then goes yep. to start attacking the other rock. Okay. What are the what are the reflex saves? Reflex saves are nineteen. Okay. Uh, do I have another point? Another uh, what's it called? You do not have fortune. any fortune points. Okay. Uh, I, I take that. Second one, uh, 21 damage. 21 electrical damage, yep. Yeah. Oh, Foxfire gave you a point. You evaded. Yeah! Fuck yeah, Foxfire! Yeah! <laughs> He's tricky! <laughs> Grackle! You get it. You get, Grackle might actually be able to attack a thing. This is bullshit. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, come in spend a point oops uh, i'm under the you know, give me a second. Boop. Boop. spend a point um if it when it attacks yeah it'll take its aol he's 23 <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> These things should be chewing you apart. <laughs> so ballsy lucky. Just pushing your luck. Okay, there. Hit you. Uh, that blocked the attack. I blocked it. Isn't it? I, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so now I, have, now I roll to hit it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck you! It, it, it tries to bite the sword, and you pull back the sword. Twenty? Does a twenty-nine hit the fucking? It, it would have hit, and you don't lose the sword or hit yourself. Okay, now where are those wizards? The wizards right are here. in the saddle. Yep. Okay, so there's a move. I have two actions. All right, wizard. You're attacking the wizard. Yep. Okay, critical threat. Nice. Tell the elves so you cut its head off. Twenty-three. Uh, the wizard's AC is exactly 23. You notice me not typing. I'm just copying past, past uh... Okay, his ass is grass. Oh, there's a 20% mischance. I don't know if you have any way around it from Four... a blur, blur effect. You oh, hit... blur or something? Yep. 
You got it. You got him. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, eighty-seven damage. No, no. Roll crit. You, I crit. Oh fuck! I always miss that. I forget that. Or I don't know why. Standard additional effect: a D6 to random ability score. Ooh. Okay. Oh, the random God. ability score is charisma. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna be Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> and you one charisma of the battle mage. <sighs> Alright, then how much damage? 87 damage. Well, so much for the not killing elves part. Oh, fuck that. It's crit. Oh, no, wait, did I put a 46 in there? No, I didn't. <sighs> okay, so. You drop yeah. the elf to minus. 17 the elf does not have 17 con so you kill a battle wizard that's one all the all the elves cry out like cry bloody murder and elven ah! 26 on the second guy that's the druid the druidus yeah the druidus oh. wait no not this it's this one Plus 1d6. They take cold, I assume. Uh, 29 damage. 29 damage. Hurts her. Not bloodied. Um, all the elves are screaming, That's the one! That's the hobgoblin! Yep. <laughs> Junker? Uh, is going to... I believe he's going to true strike, strike the bird that's down. Okay. The glittery one on the ground? Yeah. I don't... With his frost, shock, short bow? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to... It's got a plus 13 with Bard Song. It's plus 15. 15. Um, he's added one to the... Uh... Shock Frost. And he, I think he added one to the... Um... No, this is Junker, not Ghost. Oh, Junker. Oh, sorry. Uh... Yeah, Junker. Yeah. All right, plus 13. Sure. Yeah, I think Junker's drinking a True Strike, or how is he? Oh, yeah, he's drinking yeah, a True Strike. Be, yeah. And then he fires an arrow. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, sorry, that should actually be 35, but... Yeah, he hit... Yeah. And then uh, uh, this would be D three D six for all the elements plus the attack of the bow. Bard song would make this a plus three, so three D six plus three. Seventeen damage. Seventeen damage to that bird. Fifty sixty two knocks it out. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all yelling as the bird <laughs> collapses to the ground because it has its wings out. It's like it's kind of like really stable when it falls over. <laughs> like it doesn't doesn't dump all of the elves from their uh, uh, from their saddles. Ghost. Uh, I think he's gonna start firing on the other on the, the other bird. the other bird. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea what ghost. Ghost attacks are. Let's do fiery frost, fiery composite. Okay. So plus, he added one to that, so seventeen, nineteen with bard song. Uh, so plus rapid shot would make it seventeen. Uh, roll the one and oh fuck off. So what a hit, yep. uh, two misses, and uh, well I guess I'll just keep firing. AC nineteen. Uh, I can do twenty on this one, so uh, no, 
All misses. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, it's high up in the air. Its wings are creating a bit of wind, and you're trying to avoid grackle yet hitting some of the tops of trees. Uh, Mort. Uh, Mort's going to... Question. Which direction does... Oh, fix my pointer... This rock seemed to be going like around this way, or more? um, this was the glittery one, so it was trying to turn. This one was coming in from that way, so it's kind of like heading straight at Crackle. All right, so Mort's gonna fly 40 feet here. Yep, ready to batter up and get big. Kerpunk. <laughs> 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 Dirty bird man! <laughs> there, the three armed one. <laughs> Says one of the archers. These are the fugitives. <laughs> oh, the South Green. <laughs> oh, El Syrian druids. Well, fudge. This druidus needs to make Crackle go away. Alright, she's going to defensively try to cast a spell on the bird. Now that we've engaged in, like, melee combat. Fucking enlarge at <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, but no. Um, she's going to bark skin her bird. Okay. Not the bird I'm going after. Anyway. Yeah. She needs to make a defensive 15 plus double spell level, so 19. She makes it, so the bird gains. Uh, at what level? Probably three. She's taking four to high level. For every three level casters above third. Yeah. Uh, so if she, she's not a ninth level caster, so, so yeah, three. three. So this one has an AC of 29. All right, she's still strapped in and therefore still, like, threatened by Grackle, which is unfortunate for her. Uh, she... I don't know, takes out a long spear. So she's threatening you back. The rock. The first thing it does is it attacks Grackle with the beak. Mm -hmm. AC 38 Grackle. Ooh, that's a hit. It bites you for 21 damage. Okay. It then has one more attack before it has to fly away or attempt to hover. So it's going to talon you, like it kind of claws at you with its big talon. This one I will defend. Okay. 21. Uh, sorry, that's minus five. It's AC 33. On the first one? On the second one? Yeah, the second the second, I, Sorry, I don't see the score. Yeah, 33 is a miss. Okay, so roll to beat 33. So you don't quite block it, but you just naturally get out of the yeah. way. Uh, yeah, I get out of the way. And then it has to fly or hover. So it's going to attempt to hover. It doesn't, so it ends up having to move away. <laughs> All right. Three AOs on the way. Yep. Who are you AOing? <laughs> So, Archer, Archer, Druid, Bird. Yep. Archer, Archer, Druid, Bird. It kind of ducks down, and you're like... Tick, 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 tick. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, a big gust of wind. Whoa! 
I don't know. That's amazing. <laughs> Gee, the number of ones I have rolled is ridiculous. So archer, archer, druid, bird. So roll to confirm the critical misses against the archers. Twenty nine and a natural fucking one okay, again. Twenty nine would have hit the natural the one. Fuck. So critical, critical fumble. Critical, critical fumble. fumble. Miss. Oops. Miss. Take one point of dex damage. Thank you, <laughs> Wither. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you, Wither. Uh, fortune I'm... point for immediate use. So I, I would not have missed. No, it's a nat one. Yeah, it's a nat one and nat one. So nat one, yeah, it's, I, it doesn't it doesn't work. So I'm gonna okay. reject that. Reject that point. one. Yeah. Okay. So I take a dex point. Yep. Uh, so the other two. Does are that dex da damage? Three. Yeah, that dex damage drops your to hit then. Yeah. 28, so 28 and thirty. Um, twenty eight against the druidus hits. The thirty still hits against the rock, even though it was protected. Yeah, yeah, minus one of your damage too. Shit, that sucks. Yep, it's fine. It was just the big gust of wind that blew you back and the number of ones it. I'm rolling is stupid. <laughs> oh, I know it's 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 all to guard levels of ones. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, she takes thirty three. Okay, she's now bloodied. Fucker. <laughs> Fuck all of them. Bird takes thirty one. And the bird's taking its first damage. All right, Caravan and Goros. Goros, I realize Divine Favor doesn't stack with a Divine Power, so instead he casts Greater Magic Weapon oh. on his shitty axe. Sure. He walks up to the bird that's dead and Vital Strikes it. <laughs> or the bird that's down and just sticks his axe in the bird's head. He doesn't want this thing getting back up. You're not going to heal the bird! I will send it to the afterlife. He doesn't roll a one. He doesn't. He still has a shitty axe, so this is only 2d12. Oh, does the bird have to move? Sorry, the rock. Yeah, it did. That's oh, what it did? Okay. made it. Yeah. Not very far. It doesn't have to move far. It just has to move yeah. more than... More than a few feet. Um... Goros. Power attacking Goros. Does plus 20 damage with his spell. Bard Song would be plus 22. So 2d12 two two. plus 22 damage. He embeds his great axe in the bird's head, doing 35 damage. Yeah, boy. Uh, knocking the bird to minus 37 lethal damage, he kills the bird. <laughs> he just gets splattered in bird blood. Fortrium! And that was the loot. Okay. Uh, archers. These ones are attacking Grackle. This one is attacking Goros. I'm coming, Grack. Don't worry. I'm not, honestly, I'm not that bad off. I'm not bloodied yet. Okay, Grackle. Uh, the bonuses. AC 33, AC 32, and then oh, there's a miss and a potential critical miss. That's a critical miss. Uh, popped an eardrum or something. <clears throat> and then this archer unloads on Goros. Oh, wait, no, I'm I'm bloodied. Goros's AC is a whopping seventeen right now. Hit, <coughs> hit, hit. Miss. 3d8 plus 15. 18 with point blank shot plus 1d6 for one of the arrows. They're running out of electrical arrows. Goros got hit for 39 damage. 
a little help over here. He is not bloodied. Yeah, boy. And then that poor, poor archer who's blinded by that. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Shut up and give me your electric arrows! Uh, uh, Barnabas. What are you doing, bud? You're in the trees, watching the, the slaughter. You can see the annoying little Azada being all uppity and... You're muted, Mark. You've... Sorry. How high up is the rock that's still flying? Uh, yeah, it it's like 50 feet above the uh, above the trees, just slightly. And how high are the trees? 50 feet. It's like right at the uh, tops right. of the trees. So I'm 100 feet away, 190 foot range. I think you I can hit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, with another glitter dust. You're going to glitter dust these guys. Yep. Okay. Hey, it's a. It worked the first time. Yep. What am I doing? I, I think you want halos? Yeah, give me a second. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, a bunch of the trees and the elves uh, all get glittery, and... Three, four, four DC, 20 will saves. The archers. Cannot see. Enough of them. The Druidus made it. Okay. The rock failed. You get a one blind bird. Well placed spell, Barnabas. Los is still in his can. Chaga. Uh, moves. 60. Let's see if he's close enough to melt anyone's minds. 60 feet away and they're up. He has to kind of be above. Or he has to be almost underneath them. 75 feet away is too far. So Chaga is basically flying and taking cover in the trees. Okay. Getting himself into position. The Wind family, including the Azata. Zata flies forward. Demands their surrender. Already there is too much death. Stop this madness. Stop it now. I don't think anything anyone's listening to it. On either side. <laughs> Well, it hasn't shown its fucking true colors. Yeah, it makes a charisma check. It gets a nat one. Oh, silly <laughs> Java! <laughs> Some lying familiar. Uh, the Wind family is still not sure how they. Yeah, I I think they're still in kind of denial that they're fugitives now. The Elsirian battle mage, because the other one's dead, is very concerned at Goros. There's Grackle. We know that he's a, that Grackle's a fugitive, and there's a three arm thing coming. Hmm. Um, we're gonna go. One is Goros. Two is Grackle. Three is Mort. Uh, if I roll Goros, there, he's going to do something that will catch Chaga in yeah. it as well. Apparently, the person who tried to murder... Uh, there is a fireball from a wand that's going off around the Flying Mort. Okay. For 32 damage, DC 14 for half.
26. Made it. You took 16. There's flames erupt all around you above the above the treetops. <laughs> and then it takes a move action to unstrap itself from the from its um, um, from its saddle. Okay. It doesn't want to be near Goros and the others. Junker. Oh, Junker, Junker, Junker. Gosh. Let's have a look see what he's got. Oh, you know what? Might be good. Those guys are on the ground. Let's see if he prepared an intent. These hired thugs, a few rounds back, went into the bushes to hide. They're, they're hastily <laughs> hiding. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's silly. Oh, Adam's back. Okay. It's Junker's turn. Junker's turn? All right. Yeah. Uh, the one round went by since I've been gone? or Barely. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, did he use his true strike? Yeah. You, uh, yes. Yeah. You, you unconscious the bird. the bird, and then Goros walked up to it and, and uh, vital strike the bird in the head to kill it. Harvard. Uh, this battle mage has unstrapped itself from, from, the, from its... Uh, How did that guy die? Gracchus. Uh When the bird oh, grackle. failed to hover, it flew away, and Grackle took a bunch of AOOs and rolled a bunch of ones, but actually hit the wizard and hit the. No, I, I don't think it was the AOOs that killed it. No, uh, no, he just attacked and in. yeah, I killed one, hit the other, he, and then he, he crit him in the face. What did just... Mark say? No killing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the spark made a DC. Uh, Made a charisma check and rolled a nat one and got four to get everyone to listen to it. Oh, so it's going beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it's going beep, 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 and everyone's like, "Fucking, they're fugitives!" <laughs> okay, I right, got it. Thank you. Um, so that is that bird in the trees, or is that bird still? That bird is still fifty feet up, and it's blind. It's glittered. A bunch of blind people. Okay, and. That bird is mostly fresh. I think it's got 32 damage. Okay, uh, it's 50 feet up, you say? Okay, so it's a little bit out of range. Uh, we're going to um, poison a couple of arrows for Junker, or for, for Ghost. We're going to poison this, this poison this time. Yep. Two arrows. Ghost turn. A haste of ghost. Haste of ghost. Ghost is going to. He's got three of these uh, scorching rays prepared. So he's going to scorching ray again with two Pudgewick poison arrows. Oh, jeez. Oh, the pain. Uh, Which one? The bird or? Oh, the bird. Yeah, the, the, the blind. Your flat footed blind bird. <laughs> Too far away for sneak, but. Yep. Still. Uh. AC 32, AC 28. Both hit because it's blind. Uh, it got bark skin last round, so. Yeah. 34 damage. Nice. And 36 damage. Ooh. No, oh, he's going down. <laughs> uh, 36 is. AC 26, I think it misses. Uh, its AC is 29 with the bark skin. It loses two decks for it being blind. Um, did you add two for your attack? Uh, no, I did not add two. Okay, so you hit it. Okay, nice. Uh, it's 18 damage. Nice. Okay, the bird is still up. It has to make three checks or lose altitude. It fails, makes it, and fails. It loses altitude into the trees, so its wings are now crashing into the trees. I'm going to say it falls from there. Uh, so it falls from the altitude where it ended up, basically. That's uh, uh, 30 feet off the ground. So it... Their wizard is dead, so there's no... <laughs> yep, the bird 
angrily crashes into the trees right about here and then there um the archers also take the eight damage and so does the druid the druid's got 70 damage i gotta check her hit points okay. and then for the poison um two dc 18 fort saves or con damage ensues okay one fail Oh, I should have read what the whole thing what this poison does. <laughs> <laughs> Two con. Ooh. Uh, give me a second. Let me refigure out its hit points. Uh, Two con means it loses sixteen hit points. <laughs> Next hit points would be. All right. Was that the druid or the or the rock that got the poison? The, the rock. Okay, yeah. Any creature slain by the poison rises as a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't read that part, did you? <laughs> rises as a zombie? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right, so the the thing kind of like you could hear it crashing in the trees and branches snapping and the bird crying out, the owls going ah, uh, and then that druid has. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the people likely wouldn't have like feather fall stuff because of the fact that they live in a place where they just have feather fall by right of their existence. The druid's unconscious. Pompous of <laughs> Unconscious druid, dead wizard, two blind archers. Mort. All right, well, that was clearly taken care of. They were wise enough to put targeting beacons on Ghost and Junker, though. <laughs> they're like, yeah, these guys look like they're a problem. <laughs> uh, Mort will come swooping in over here. Oh, no. Right. Yeah! Ghost <laughs> just yelling at Mort. Yeah! Dirty bird man. <laughs> <laughs> and he yells Kaw -kaw! as he um, he's gonna try to use subdual damage or, or non-lethal damage on the battle mage. Your bones will be cold tonight. Uh, plus, uh, one. The glittery battle mage whose blur is no longer working. AC 26. The battle mage with all their spells running has an AC of 23. Uh, Clobber. Uh, 2D. Plus. 2. Uh, so this is non lethal. So 43 non lethal. Okay, it's still awake. And 10 lethal. That's 53. She still has hit points left. Barely. Okay. Uh, it, she's not uh, blind, is she? Nope. Okay. Whack! <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's two moves and an attack. El Syrian Druid. She needs to make a check. Or bleed. She is bleeding. And this druid... Monsters! <laughs> she, she says in Imperial Common to you. Dirty bird man! <laughs> Ghost yelling from, like, yelling from across the way. You're worshipping a bunch of doppelgangers, you asshole! <laughs> May your soul go to the abyss! Where's some shit from there? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's she gonna do? She's going to... Quick dismount. Undoes a strap. Quick dismount. She... Oh, fuck. DC 20? Did she just fail at her ride check? 
Yeah, she ends up trying to slip off the bird, so she spends a move to do that and ends up incurring an AOO from Mort. Oh, that's not 24. 24 hits the Druidus. Druids aren't known for their tankiness. Tanky Druids are tanky. Utility Druids are utility. Uh, plus two. 45 damage. Oh, that hurt her bad. It's like you're staring at the character sheet hoping something effective comes up. <laughs> something will help. <laughs> you know, she doesn't have the feet to quick change, so she she's actually kind of just moving down the road. <laughs> Walking home. Uh, the rock is prone, glittery, and blind. It's also reoccurring poison. poison, so... Two of them, I believe. No, only one. It, it, only one? Yeah, but it's con makes its fort save less. 17. Fails again. Okay. <laughs> Two more con. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Okay, you're doing zombie. That will just be priceless. 24 hours later, we won't know. We'll be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Its max hit points are 128 now. It has hit points, so it stands. It's making this horrible noise. And... The person who's commanding it is... Is unconscious. It's unconscious. <laughs> so, the, the bird's not doing My stuff. It, it's, just it's just trying to move through the forest. It's having a hard time because it's so big and, and it, it kind of gets stuck here. Like, it's Wings are caught in trees and caravan and Goros. Uh, Vigo's just hiding in the wilderness. He's got enough with the fireballs. Uh, Duckin got dropped by Jaga, so he's just uh, the caravan. These guys are hiding and watching the show. They they know you guys are a bunch of killers, and they're 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 like, oh, you can hear them. They're hiding, but they're also watching. <laughs> oh, did you see that? No, and they're they're not hiding very well. Uh, taking cover would be more accurate. Yeah. Um, Goros is going to climb up onto the dead body of the bird and take a vital strike at the Elsirian archer. glowing with magical might he's going to power attack with furious focus means the first attack doesn't take penalties and there's a bard song running Bruh! he hits ac 22 these arches have acs of 22 i feel vindicated saying it's close <laughs> 2d 12 plus uh, with power attack and his strength and the bard song running is 22 damage 38 damage on the archer Ow. cold bones all of you cold bones the archer is gonna unstrap himself come on we need to get out of here uh, they both unstrap themselves, and then they're going. This one's going to attempt his ride check to get off the. Get off the bird in a as a swift or a free action. He makes it, so he slides off the bird in that direction. <laughs> Not incurring an AOO, although he's glittery. So that's one action. And I guess he's going to fire at Goros because Goros scares him. <laughs> Hitting Goros twice. Uh, point blank. And he's running out of those electrical arrows, so one of them is electrical for 23 damage. Goros taking 66 damage. <laughs> Uh, 
Goros has 96 hit points. 98. Uh, he needs better armor. He needs better everything. Um, the other archer unstraps himself. And because he's blind, his movement provokes AOOs. I yeah, don't know. mortal take it. Okay. Stay put. Nope. All right. <laughs> 34. Because he was on a mount, Goros can also take his AOO. Forty-six damage. And Goros does twenty-nine damage for a total of sixty-nine seventy-five damage. Don't know if that archer has enough. The archer has eighty hit points, so seventy-five damage. He takes the punishment, and then is stumbling away at half speed and then gets his will save to try to be unblind and makes a one so he's limping away it's just too much too much and then these blind archers are unhooking themselves from the bird because they know something's wrong they're on the ground and they make their will saves, and one of them succeeds. The other one joins his buddy, but is still blind. Barnabas! Uh, if things are well enough in hand, he'll just leave it be. Okay. He will make his way to the road, mind you. Chaga. Uh, yeah, he'll move over here. See if he'll check on the horses and things. Battle mage with non-lethal damage. He is going to uh, mine thrust the battle mage. Chaga uses a third level slot for this. Yeah, he's got Mind Thrust 3. I'm sorry! He does 8d8 damage for an 8th level caster, plus 8, <laughs> because it's a divination spell and he's got the, the, the Havoc power. 48 damage. She needs to make a will save for half. Plus eight. She makes it, so she takes 24 lethal damage, which is enough to knock her out. She's unconscious and slides from the saddle uh, where she had unhooked herself and gets blasted back by the mental attack. And then Chaga will just move forward a bit, flying through the trees about here I, I'm really sorry about this your village is full of doppelgangers <laughs> your entire town's overrun <laughs> we'll try to leave you alive without your stuff of course but that's just the cost don't get sand in your britches about it <laughs> we might let you keep your britches <laughs> The Wynn family is still shocked at the violence and the fact that they are their teachings make it they're so reluctant to bring spells and violence against um, against other elves. Uh, you actually hear Seven Barnabas saying, "We've got to do something. We must turn. We must turn violence aside. There are not enough elves. Our lives are precious. Yes, but they're trying to kill us." Shut up, you stupid bird! What are you doing in here? Leave her alone! And there's like a dysfunctional family sped. <laughs> you always, <like> <laughs> always 
drink her song. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, El Syrian Battle Mage. Uh, they're all unconscious. Uh, right, so I'm going to remove them from the list. Uh, Grackle. Okay. Um... Who are you going to run up to in Critical Fumble against? <laughs> exactly. Grackle's <laughs> going to fly to here. Oh. Gracchus, uh, Grackle's going to fly to here. Uh, and uh, Charisma check. Sword pointing out. Surrender, and on my honor, you will live. Enough battle has happened. No more death. Okay. Are you intimidating, or are you trying to... Um, well, let's see. Uh, has there been enough diplomacy? No. Uh, let's do intimidation. You've downed both of their birds, and you're winning. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a plus eight. All right, right on. They have to walk home either way. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Nice. Drop your bows. Drop your swords. We surrender. We surrender. That's what she says. Uh, Grackle Point looks at his, like his side. Do not strike them anymore. Save the ones who are down. Don't let them die. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> My honor has been promised. Fine. No more elves die. But that squawking bird is getting my axe. <laughs> Thoris starts to go into the. Just, that would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, the the elves the elves cluster up a little bit. Uh, the Asilian druid, you notice, casts a spell, but is pointing it at the battle mage, and she stabilizes her own, um, her own, um, her own side. Uh, we need help over here. You hear the elves yelling. Help's coming. <laughs> no, you don't, you monster. <laughs> Uh, are we? We're still in combat. Uh, you, uh, everyone can take their their round of actions, basically. Okay. Um, Grackle, Grackle is instructing them on how to render. Put your weapons down. Collect your, uh, your like he's just giving them the instruction. Like, yep. They they throw right their bows hand. at your feet. Uh, um, they I think three bows or I think maybe a group. Oh, and uh, the druidist does bring the battle mage over. Uh, I'm and... fairy firing them. They fairy fired us. We okay. fairy fired them back. <laughs> they, they tense at that and they look at it. They recognize the spell. Um, the uh, the druidist throws a wand at your at your feet, kind of like in a. In a sign of submission, like you think it might be that fireball wand, it's still smoking a little bit. Um, okay, he'll Goros, it up. Goros and Mort come back. They are unhooking the Druidess and kind of pulling her off. And you notice that one guy was pouring a, a potion down her uh, throat. We'll just call her stable. The bird flaps around and and ends up kind of almost like it's like it looks like it's sick it lets both goros and mort walk right up to it it's making this horrible sound it's wing as they're caught in trees and it's just like it's coughing up all sorts of junk mort looks at goro shrugs and is it a club <laughs> <laughs> the two of you are hacking at the thing you 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 end up killing the bird yeah I hear you. <laughs> like poison works anyway. Zombie bird. Unfortunate. Are you gonna spend a DM point that the bird turns into some horrible undead monstrosity? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> the zombie bird of the Elsier Vale. <laughs> the archers avoid the two of you, and but they are dragging. They are dragging their their down Druidus into. Yeah, we're just keeping an eye on them into the group eventually the blindness wears off uh, ghost is going to wander over to the wagon uh, hey 
uh, lady. Do you want to talk to your people before they go for a... <laughs> Yes. Yes, we should. Please explain to them the bullshit of the fucking doppelgangers. In the name of the Seldorin, there'll be peace here. That, that gets their attention? Who are you? That is none of your concern at this moment. Know that I am a representative of the Seldorin. They look... She's got her gear! <laughs> yeah. Uh, what the Elsirian druid was about to point and like point an accusation towards uh, Tassara, but decided not to. What is the meaning of this? Tassara basically taps her own her own brow and lets out a, a channel positive energy, healing everyone. I think for seventy six, for twenty nine. Do I get some of that shit? You're close though. Yep. yep. Yeah. 26 ton use of that shit. 29. 29. Nice. This wakes up some of the uh, incapacitated foes, which are quickly told to, that we surrendered. Spark is keeping like like a guard between you guys and the and the prisoners. You will return to Fortress Top and report directly to the to the warden. There is a warning from the Seldrine themselves to you. The city of Fortress Top has been overrun by doppelgangers. Their true natures can be gleaned by their blood, which changes color, she glances at Barnabas, when it, it is it spilt. Spilt, not on their hands, spilt. There are other ways that casters will know, that can see through their true forms. Gackle Trust... takes his knife out, like, same finger, and shows it to them. Trust no one but yourselves, for, these, for this foe is insidious and can even pretend to be a caster. This seems to shake... Uh, the druids and the wizard a little bit. Did they all take damage? Hmm? They all took damage in this fight, right? Yep. Uh, one, uh, they've all taken damage. Good. Good. They're all in the red? <laughs> uh, Spark, you notice, is actually looking at all of them. Yeah, they, they appear to be all elves. These are... Wiz Wizardress, you're familiar with the spell Shared Memory? Yes. I would like to share my memory with you. She looks to the Tassar Win and looks around. Why? It will be evidence that we did not kill the High Priestess or her husband. But we killed their doppelgangers. One of the archers seems overly protective of the wizardress, but she, she kind of hushes him and she steps forward. Okay, he casts share memory and he shares his memory of what happened in that fight. <laughs> she, like, flinches at the, the at, like, when you, like... The violence. <laughs> yeah, he flinches at the violence, but then flinches at the, the, the death blows that revealed the horrible foes that were pretending to be important people in their city. This is true. This man has seen it. The spell... Unless he was completely deranged and... <laughs> no. no, no, that was not. And you must know that the current... I understand there's another doppelganger claiming to be Tassara Wynn. As of today, is claiming resurrection. It's not the case, obviously. It is another one. You must also have heard the loud monkey yells that echo throughout your city. It is them. It is how they send warnings. Yeah, we saw a huge mob of them heading this way. They were all doppelgangers. Well, that means the rest of us got to get the fuck out. <laughs> they are all doppelgangers. 
there might be one real few monkeys, but when they scream like that and it echoes throughout your city, it is them communicating. The monkeys are doppelgangers? I not all, but most. We, no, we don't even know that it's mouse. Just some of the monkeys is doppelgangers. You notice that Seven wanted to hear the conversation, so she actually moved up. When she got close to the big bird, however, she seemed a little shocked at the at the destruction the party has, has visited upon such a great and majestic beast. Um, Chaga's just slinking back to go get Duckin. The rats are holding up in their little fortress of dead horses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vigo's, Vigo's got enough. Uh, Vigo's unhooking the horses now. Um, raiding the, the hired thugs for hiding in the bushes. Get your ass out here and help Right, the fucking. Yeah, they're. Vigo's yelling at them. We'll we'll take one wagon out of here. Kill no. the down, kill the down horses. No, no, go we, over we, it. We, we don't have to kill the down horses. I can heal them. Give me a moment. Uh, I, uh, it'd be junker in. <clears throat> saying it looks like we probably have enough horses for two wagons. Yeah, Chaga's gonna let off two spells to basically try to heal the two groups of horses. Although, the horses that are pinned under that wagon... Oh, Mark Mor could just flip the wagon over. He's yeah, Mark flips the wagon. <laughs> uh, no, we are collecting their shit, right? I don't know. They said that there was a mob of about 100 monkeys that were with great purpose were heading down the road. Yeah, they might need actually need stuff to... They need stuff if they're going to deal with monkeys, but I think that if they... Like like wands of fireball would probably be pretty useful if the horde of monkeys is coming this way we might want to either start moving yes that's what we are doing we are moving fight a horde of monkeys one of the two ah uh, grackle looks at them looks at the wand you probably need this more than i okay the wizard takes the wand i never wrote it down so here you fucking go <laughs> Do not reveal that you know who about them or you will be targeted as well. I shall stay to help the elflings with the monkeys. Do not worry, they will be destroyed. You can have the one back. <laughs> I shall meet Take you. The wand. <laughs> I shall meet you along the road. Excellent. Let's be on our way. And it's too long as it is. Wait, what's what's the fucking fairy gonna do? <laughs> Goros? No, but just, uh, it'll be fine. It knows magic. It has a size complex. In the direction of the rats, Ghost is flipping them the bird. Yep. <laughs> okay, Ghost, you asshole. Chaga's, uh, <laughs> Chaga is gathering everyone up to do healing the most efficient way. And he heals... You, the enemies, or sorry, his allies, the horses, and uh, the people for, he'll do three channels. A total of 64 healing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, heals up. Much appreciated. <clears throat> heals up more. I think he just healed all of the damage on the elves. Goros is 66. How, yeah. much, how much healing did he give us? 64. Oh, yeah. Of course, only has two left. Yeah. Oh, one of the druids has a bit of damage left. Oh, well. Suck it up. Uh, one of the archers also does 11 on the archer. I do not mind staying to two with the monkeys. But you will all need my protection. Thank you, oh glorious die. <laughs> Yeah, it's because he Adam's got his uh, headset up. That's why he's super quiet. Uh, it shouldn't be. Okay, when you lean in, you're you're a little bit louder. Uh, I didn't realize I was being quiet. I turned up your mic a bit too. A little too quiet. Uh, uh okay. Uh, I can turn my mic up on my end if you need me to. But yeah, it should be. This is. Doesn't, doesn't do anything. Oh, he yells back. If they have some of your blood, they can turn into you. Uh, clean yourselves up some. 
you. I look a pride. Who are you talking to? <laughs> the elves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you hold it back. Make sure you don't fucking get your blood. And the equivalent of plane crashes. <laughs> <clears throat> My bars are really low. And now they're going up. I don't know what's going on. Check your address. Yeah, we, we, we GTFO because this is. All right, so place. you you rehook up the horses for two wagons? Yeah. Leaving one of the wagons behind? Yeah. You want to place yourselves on the wagons? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Try you know it what? Again. Barnabas has had about enough. Enough. Ditching oh, from. Family business? From the Wynn family. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. Oh. We're gonna go. Okay. <laughs> I'm a grateful bunch of twats. That's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me a vile human. Fuck you. Yeah, I guess two of the hired thugs are actually going to ride the these horses bareback, basically. <laughs> Might be a good idea in the short term. Long term, I don't know if you want to be riding bareback. No. Done it. Not a fan. Don't try to impress girls. <laughs> That's funny. Uh. All right. Somehow, only slightly worse for wear, you managed to battle off some very impressive defenses of Fortress Top. You could only imagine what the skies would have been like during previous ages battle, where... There would be entire flocks of elves fighting in that style. The rocks are really good platforms because they're tough. Yep. Yep. They take quite a bit of punishment to bring down. You get an alchemist in there to give him like shield spells. Yep. <laughs> Cleric on there to keep it going. <laughs> Uh, it was the boon, the Azada taking on the monkeys. Hmm. It is something, it's supposed to be something helpful. No, I don't think so. I will. I will hold the boon until there's a, a good opportunity for something uh, for something to happen. Um, the group of you begins to ride. Um, when you reach a full day of riding, are you forced marching? I don't think so. No, I'm not after a full day. I don't think the monkeys are chasing us full tilt after a full day. I think we're just going to take it. There, there will be a watch, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's a watch. Chaga even casts a rope trick to oh. have to have some of the important people <laughs> up in the rope trick. He could actually, with being a sorcerer, could cast multiple rope tricks. So he casts a rope trick for the Wind family and a rope trick for for himself. He's got the rope set up inside of the wagons. Nice. Yep. That's good. And you learn that the ropes do travel with wagons. You tried pushing one first uh, uh, at Chaga's insistence. And, uh, yeah, you could actually travel inside a rope trick inside a wagon. Wagons are big enough to be anchors for rope, rope tricks. Nice. I think it was in one of the books, too. They have a... Yeah. Which is like... you, A rope trick doesn't ta it takes up a very small amount of space. So you put, like, 50 rope tricks in one wagon... <laughs> You vote it with an entire army. It's a clown. Trojan horseback <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> well, yeah, Chaga could Trojan horse. Uh, what does he have? Six second level spells per day plus higher level spells. So, so um, sixty four to one hundred twenty eight dudes into <laughs> all popping out of one wagon. What are you doing? I'm crafting my wand of rope trick. Why? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Because mobs are actually really good. <laughs> mobs are strong units. Okay. Uh, in the forest, uh, I think, and on your way back to Hacksbridge, which is, I'm assuming you guys are trying to race back to catch a train? Yes. Before our wanted posters show up. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, the group is on the on the forest road, trying to head back to uh, head back to Foundry. There is a uh, a slight biting feeling. This this really sort of dark and wiggling worry that if the tower is of great importance you've left Alistair alone in the tower for days the trapped lich and something called the endless pit to the plains what could possibly go wrong <laughs> Yeah, Wait, but we were leaving a bunch of stuff in there to be a dungeon. Because we are like, this thing's going to be a dungeon eventually. It wasn't supposed to be our dungeon. Our <laughs> it was dungeon. supposed to be somebody else. else's dungeon. <laughs> Some other party could go through there. Why do they have that? <laughs> I think the the leg of the trip back, there might be an encounter. As there are still some monkeys that, that, uh, that survive the destruction of the Azada. Who cast spells like Flame Strike and Chain Lightning? <laughs> with the with the tough but defeated elves <laughs> backing backing them up, they scatter the monkey swarms uh, that evening, buying you some time. But a bunch of shape changing monkeys isn't the only thing. Up the sleeves of your enemy, and they know where you're headed. <laughs> the train ride back to Foundry. Oh yeah, there's that. <laughs> may not be a peaceful one, as they have dispatched. And over the course of the next two days, via teleporting hops, a squad. Thanks to the magics of the template of the wizard named Bargle. Damn it, Bargle. I actually hate those elves more than Bargle. <laughs> <laughs> There's something visceral about you killed my horse. <laughs> I had that horse for three minutes. <laughs> you killed it. <laughs> Well, it, like, had you had no way of attacking them, they would have just strafed the battlefield and picked you off. People would yep. run, and they would be able to get you. Like, if if you were a bunch of like fourth level characters, that you would have been doomed from that. Or from if that it spot. was the same yeah. party minus the like the archers, there was two people with effective ranged attacks. Yep. Yep. And there's an asshole trying to catch up to them on a fucking broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... Like, oh, no. <laughs> some some black ops doppels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The train is a nice confined space to do some <laughs> to do some. Oh, damage. it'll be and it's one of those like how much do you not want there to be mess in the crowd? <laughs> right. Yep. Oh, we're reaching the end of the chapter, guys. We're reaching the end where the where potentially the two parties combine. Well, the two parties that split may combine in some way, shape, or form with this current group. I'm excited. There's still a few good a few good games left in the chapter. Uh, the train fight, and then whatever the fuck's going on at the tower, because you know something's going on at the tower. <laughs> He's just, you know, like, experimenting, <laughs> discovering himself, you know, <laughs> figuring out what things do. <laughs> Bargaining with the lich in the basement for power. Retraining into some even more horrible build. <laughs> You know, Alistair Let's with his Al, Alistair with his solid plus one sense motive. Couldn't possibly pull one over on him. <laughs> He's another one of those NPC builds from Marty. <laughs> rocking these, rocking these two rats with their <laughs> plus zero fucking sense motives. Perfect. <laughs> no, I, I just like Alistair. He's like he wasn't around people lots, 
So if you lie to him, he's just going to be like super vindictive and and like like crusty about it. Like, but yeah, you could manipulate the crazy little kid. Alistair, uh, if you say so, Urncaster. <laughs>